Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm back with the Defemerember list and I wanted to work on another one of these today because I um, I've been wanting to work on another one. I just I have not felt well the last week or so, but I'm doing better now. And so I wanted to work on napkin and tag for day six, even though at this moment it is day 17, 17 or 18. Now it's 18, I guess, because it's like one in the morning. This is the usual time that I record. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, I want to go back and do napkin tags. So I have pulled out a napkin that I um, received, this beautiful napkin, and a napkin swap with, I can't remember your name, <laughs> but it's a swap I did through Paper Inspirations Group um, that Sue organizes. And that was a really fun swap. I got some great napkins, so now I'm finally going to use one. And then I've got my future tag. Right now it's a piece of a manila folder. But I've cut it to size for this envelope because I want to make it um, to fit in here. And usually when I make these, I kind of make this part into a journal card but you know a couple snips here and there and poof it's a tag <laughs> i probably will still put a tab on the side here to make it easy to pull out of the envelope and i will we'll see how long it takes me but i'll probably um do the envelope decoration separately because the tag is the important thing here. And then I've also got some book page. This is from a funky old book from 1927 that I bought from Jessica Rapp um, in her recent live book sale. Um, it's really fun. It's got these great old timey initial letters. And then I have a digital of a ledger. So I thought I would start with gluing the ledger onto the tag and I'm going to use, you know, I'm not sure where I'm going to use this yet. I may just use it on the envelope, but I have not decided. So we'll put that aside and let's start gluing. So I think Let's see, do I want to do this with glue stick? This is kind of heavy paper. Uh, let's use, let's use, well, no, I, <laughs> okay, I can't decide. I don't want to use art glitter glue because it's kind of a pain with big pieces because if you don't stick them down just exactly in the right spot, you're stuffed because you can't move them so we'll just do our handy dandy amazon basics glue stick it usually works fine let's just pull some um, glue page here so how's everybody doing like I said, I wasn't feeling great this last week. Um, I've just been really kind of slow this Christmas season. Not up to my usual energetic standard for Christmas. I haven't done anything about cards. Um, don't have all my presents spot. Don't have anything wrapped. It's just a crime. But, you know, you do what you can. So, it'll all work out fine. We're not having 
a huge Christmas this year since my husband is unemployed at the moment. Although he is, he has just been approved recently for some funding for a training program so that he can find a new job after working 23 years, I think it is, for General Mills and getting laid off. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. We're not out on the street or anything. Um, but we're not going to spend a lot of money like we probably usually do. I love giving presents. It's fun. Just not doing as many this year. Um, okay, well, that's already sticking. Fudge. This is not straight. I can't leave it. Damn it. Excuse my French. Oh, fudge. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't do the artist glitter, glitter art glitter glue. Yeah, that. Because that would have been worse. Oh, come on. Okay, it'll be fine in a second. It'll be covered over. Everything will be good. I just need to line it up. That's better. Okay. We're good. Okay. Uh, maybe we should start with this direction. And I'll probably still have to trim this, but um, at least I'll get it close with the paper trimmer. When it gets that close in, it tends to just eat up the, the edge instead of cutting it. So we're actually going to go do a Christmas thing um, tomorrow night, tomorrow today officially tomorrow since it's one o'clock. Anyway, um, we're going to go see this group called R Rhythm Circus. We've seen them a couple of times before at Christmas time. They do this special show where they have a, a band, a small band that plays Christmas music. Um, a lot of standards and then there's a group of about six people, men and women, who tap dance to the music. And, I mean, they are, like, super good. I don't know who to compare them to, Gregory Hines. But he's more like a, he was always more like a jazz tapper. Um, these people are like percussion tap dancing. Um, if you can imagine a drum line and then imagine people doing that with their feet. <laughs> That's kind of what they do. They're really cool. So that should be fun. 
should get me more in the Christmas mood. Um, and let's see. Oh, and I saw Sue from Paper Inspirations last night. She was doing her last um, Friday Night Live of the year. And I was up late, and so um, I saw that she was on, so I hopped on there and got to chat with the group and see one of her kitties, and that was fun. And then I watched some more Studio Lou today, some more of Cindy's Ephemera Ember um, Ephemera Making. And she, I really like her. The more I like her, the more I watch her, the more I like her. a couple of well yes one was a Christmas movie the other one was a, some random happy ending movie which was good too I usually watch a bunch of Hallmark movies this time of year and I never watch those kind of movies the rest of the year um, but I just kind of turn into a big old sap this time of year <laughs> I really like the tradition, the traditional, um, you know, everybody having fun, having a good time, the stories all ending in happily ever after, George Bailey doesn't kill himself. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna worry about the other side later. Let me just check. Now where did I put my envelope? There it is. I just wanna check if I ended up cutting off much. Hopefully not. That still looks like exactly the right size. It's just about a quarter inch smaller than the envelope, which I think is good. Okay. So, I'm gonna put one of these quarters down here. I think I'll cut off because it's not quite as wide as this um, part of the napkin so I think I'll cut off this edge as opposed to this edge so I'm just gonna cut right down the right down the middle and I'm thinking I will attach this on the bottom with glue stick and then the top with a very thin layer of Mod Podge. Because I don't want it to get all wet, but I do want it to have a nice seal. So another one of these that I want to do, I think, next is the tea and envelope challenge, which is, I think, just the next day. And I was looking at all my tea bags, and I have, like, I don't know, nine different brands. Um, you would think I drink tea all the time. I don't. 
but every now and then I think, oh, I should try a new tea. And <clears throat> none of them have envelopes like the ones Barbara had where they had a little flap and they opened up. All mine, you have to rip them or cut them open. They're all sealed all the way around. So that was a little disappointing because I kind of wanted to use one as a little model um, like Barbara did. But um, yeah, they're not envelopes. I don't know what you would call them, pouches sort of? I don't know. Okay, so let us... hands and mash it. I'm just going to use card. Kind of make sure I don't have any wrinkles. And if I do, they are a minimum of wrinkles. which is kind of a lie. It's not really matte. It's more matte than the glossy is, but it's still a little glossy. Okay, but with this applicator, a silicone applicator. I can get a very thin layer on there so that it does not hardly even wrinkle, which is nice. Okay. I've got this little edge that's white and it's actually not on the card. It's um, coming off the edge so I can cut that later but right now I'm just going to let that dry I don't think I want to stamp while this is still wet, so we'll let that dry and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So I, um, so I went ahead and dried this and then did some, a little Mod Podge on the back 
panel there too and dried that as well so now it's all dry and I have this little piece here with these stamped leaves uh, that are on some tracing paper and I think I want to stick that kind of across that seam see if I can get a little ink on here and then I've got this rubber stamp um, that I want to put I think I might kind of offset it a little and then I'll do like a little bit of collaging over here and I'm not sure if I'll color this yet I might just leave it black and white or black and beige and red <laughs> whatever color that is okay um, let's go ahead and stick this down Is, this little piece is from a Roxy's weekly challenge that I did. Um, stamping tracing paper. I don't remember if it was... That was the whole challenge or that was just part of it. But I ended up doing a whole lot because I really liked it. How it looked on the tracing paper. Did a bunch of my different rubber stamps in different colors too so that looks nice okay um, let me just leave that on there I don't think I have a big enough no I don't don't have a big enough acrylic black so And I'm going to stamp this in green instead of black because there's not really any black on here except for this on the ledger and I kind of wanted it to match with the napkin more. And I'm going to emboss it as well. So I'll use green ink and then just, oh yeah, go off the edge. Um, green ink and then clear embossing powder. over and push down on the stamp. And I think that should do it. Hmm. Well, it's okay. It's not a great impression. Okay. okay, so that's embossed which actually makes the impression a little darker. But what's so funny is it still looks like it's behind the ink of the ledger, even though I stamped it over that. 
so that's kind of fun. I wanted to do a little tiny bit of collage there. So here's on my other tracing paper stamping. I'm not sure if anything else will go. Maybe ladybug. direction and I could put a couple of them on here kind of I know I'm doing two and Barbara likes threes, but I think three just looks like too many. Maybe I could put another one over here somewhere or something. Just like that. Kind of like that. I don't know, I still can't tell if it's too much.
think that's too much. I think I gotta take that off. Maybe I can put that on a tab. I'll leave it out. Either that or this on a tab. That would be cool. Okay. Alright, and I wanted to stamp some numbers on here. Just some random numbers. flowers that would show through the little window. That would be fun. Christmas one of these two. there in the middle of the cup. That is cool. Okay. Maybe you should be curling. perfect. Come on. Come on. You gotta love that. Okay. Alright. Stamp. Numbers. <laughs> Getting a little carried away here.
Don't ask me where I got these tiny numbers because I got them at the thrift store and some other package of stamps. So I have no idea where to find them. Of course, I would look first on Amazon. Tiny number stamps. I don't know. But yes, I love them. I love them. Already inked it, so just need to stick it down. And they are pretty see-through. I'd say as much as the tracing paper. I like that. Just kind of random greenery around the page. for the cup. Alright, now a tab. So I do not have a whale tail tab. I wish I did. But I have these examples that Barbara showed how to make different punches um, that you might have. I'm thinking either this one or this one.
This is just some leftover um, paper from when I was printing. So it's a little heavier weight. It's not quite cardstock, but it's a little heavier weight than just copy paper. So that's kind of what I want. Fold it in half, and then I can make sure it's even. Jeez, that's totally not straight. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Chomper. So first we do well first we open up the thing and then I'm gonna round the bottom corner corners okay so those are rounded and then I'm going to punch a chunk out of each side there. Try to make it about the same. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, well, now I don't want it to be stark white. Green would be nice. Maybe like that. Just a little bit. How about this? Let's get some vintage, or actually espresso, ground espresso on there. Dirty it up. And then we can put a couple strips of this on it. Okay, so then we got these. Now I 
I can put a couple of those on there. Or I can just leave it. What should I do? I could put this down here. And that'll kind of tie the top together with the bottom. Maybe I should do that on the other side too. This is one of my favorite little stamps that I use a lot. Okay, so... I don't know, I don't think it really needs the... more bases of flowers. <laughs> We've already got two. One there and one there. At least, I don't know if that's in a vase, but you know what I mean. Could stick them there. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. No, I'll do that one. Oh, I hear the snow plow in our alleyway. If you can hear a bunch of racket in the background. That's the snow plow. Jeez, it sounds like it's running into stuff. probably put some lined paper on the back, some coffee dyed paper. There. 
Okay, yeah, that clears. Clears the envelope easily. Okay, cool. So that is. Do I have my list around here still somewhere? Where are you? That is number six napkin image tag. Napkin on tag. <laughs> so I'm done with my tag and here's Winnie. She's very sleepy. She wants me to go to bed. <laughs> so I have to be done. So let me show you what I did. I added a couple things. First I added the cuts at the top corners to make it more tag-like and then I put an eyelet in. Uh, and then I've got a little bit of orange tape up there, a little orange washi to kind of tie in with the orange flower down here. I also colored in the little flower. Um, what else? I think that's it on this side. Let me flip it over while I'm still holding Winnie. <laughs> okay. I just finished the back so this is what I did on the back I put some ledger paper um, and kind of ripped out pieces to fit around the tab and part of the napkin that I folded over um, that actually shows flowers and then I've got like a little pe pennant shape up here um, with a scrap of greenish paper, scrap of paper I had. And then the pink purple piece is an alcohol dyed, um, some of that Yubo paper. So that was just a scrap of that. And I thought that went well with the pink flowers. And then there's the rest of the orange tape on this side. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to call it a night and I hope you guys had fun watching this. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me and Winnie and I'll just see you in the next video. Okay, bye!